In this video, we will look at factoring a binomial that has cubes in it. There are two equations for factoring cubes, depending on if we have a sum of cubes, like a cubed plus b cubed, or a difference of cubes, like a cubed minus b cubed. Both are very similar in how they factor. We'll first identify the cube roots of both, in this case, a and b. Using those cube roots, we'll fill in a binomial factor, plugging those roots a and b into that binomial factor. Next, we will have a trinomial factor with three terms. We'll start by squaring the first term, a squared. In the middle, we'll multiply them together, a times b. At the end, we'll square the last term, b squared. So far, the two formulas have been exactly identical. The only difference will be the pluses and minuses that get put between these terms. To remember what goes where, I use the acronym SOAP. S stands for same sign as the problem. If the problem has a plus, we use a plus. Similarly, if the problem has a minus, we use a minus. O stands for opposite sign. Minus is the opposite of plus, and plus is the opposite of minus. Finally, the last factor, the last term is always plus, or always positive. Using these two formulas will allow us to factor either a sum or difference of cubes. In this example, we see m cubed plus 125. The cube root of m cubed is just m, and the cube root of 125 is 5, because 5 cubed is 125. We know this will factor to a binomial and trinomial factor. The binomial, we simply plug in the roots, m and 5. To fill in the trinomial, we square the first root, m squared, multiply them together, 5m, and square the last root. 5 squared is 25. Then, using SOAP, we are allowed to fill in each of the signs. This one has a plus, so same sign will be plus. Opposite sign will be minus, and AP is always positive, or always plus. We have now factored this sum of cubes. Let's try another example where we factor with cubes. Again, here we have binomials with several cubes. We begin factoring by identifying the cube roots of each. The cube root of 8a cubed is 2a, because 2 to the 3rd power is 8. The cube root of 27 is 3y, because 3 to the 3rd power is 27. These will now factor to our binomial and trinomial factors. The binomial fills in quickly with those roots we just found, 2a and 3y. To fill in the trinomial, we start by squaring the first term. 2a squared is 4a squared. Notice as we did this, we squared both the number and the variable. When we square the 3y, we will also do the same thing. But before we do so, we must first multiply 2a times 3y to get 6ay. Finally, the last term is found by squaring 3y. This gives us 9y squared. To fill in the signs, we keep in mind the acronym SOAP. This problem has subtraction in it, so same sign will be minus, opposite will be plus, and AP is always positive. We have now factored our difference of cubes.